Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tactics Ogre with me, Get Dave. One quick note before I do this battle. Um, a couple people have mentioned in the comment section, and some of them are really a long time ago, but like, aren't I missing things, or I missed a character, or whatever. Due to a little quirk with the game, that can't happen. It's Hattori Hanzo, everybody. No? Nice speech, Hanzo. Not true, but, uh... Hey, ain't no rest for the wicked. You got bills to pay, and now it's to feed. I understand. Okay, I see really just... one reasonable avenue of assault, unfortunately. The other option is we could try drawing them to us, but we might already be in arrow range. Yep. This is going to be a rough one, folks. I think it's time to take it a bit more seriously. I'll still cheapskate it a bit. I'm not using my plus twos. But the game is definitely a fan of giving you the traditional t tactical dilemmas, that's for sure. Oh, which is probably not going to be super helpful. Possibly for the rest of the game, unless I really try grinding her up. It's kind of hard to do... The best case scenario is when you have sort of a cluster of classes that are low level. My goodness, this city is highly fortified from this side. It's almost a wonder we elected to approach it. But they don't give me control over those sorts of things. You guys are all melee hawkmen, right? Okay, those chimeras I'm a little worried about, just because I have slight concerns they might try turning my people into stone. We've got the two clerics, but... I guess with Venom we might be able to drop them pretty easily. Just gotta hope they don't try rushing everyone but Denim. She can't make that jump because she's an archer, so we have a problem on our hands. Okay, the good news is we can probably power him up for a pretty good magic spell. Petrifog? Mm, maybe in one turn we can actually get him doing some pretty good stuff with it. Alright. Well, at least he's winged. That was a pretty rough start for Canopus. Softened his fall, at least, though. I wonder if his ranged attack is going to be stronger in this situation. Yep. I wouldn't mind if he gets a bit better with the hammer, though. And hey, free tech points. I'll take them. My goodness, that was beautiful. This is kind of interesting. 
it's almost more like we're only engaging a vanguard, which is a bit unusual. Normally you kind of start getting arrows rained down on you. There's not like this concept of only engaging a forward guard. Oh, knights, the one unit that's useful is silence. Usually mages aren't worth it because, uh, you know, you can just kill them. <laughs> for this tile. It puts her at, in a much more dangerous location. She'll probably be killed before her next turn. But I don't want to risk her getting pushed off a cliff. Ah. My favorite type of critical hit. Well, that'll keep their healers busy, probably. Everybody feeling good? Cool. Time to have the princess cower in the back. I'm gonna opt for this and we'll see if we can get the magic angle here. Encourage them to maybe spread out their healing. Oh good. I get the feeling this Hanzo guy might be hard to hit. Is he going for it? Yeah. I had a feeling that was coming. Hmm. Traditionally, I would try putting the haste on Aerosol, and I think that's what I'm going to do anyway, but it's definitely... Their archers are the ones that would probably, uh... put them on if, you know, our rolls were reversed. Nice. Probably should try killing that guy before too long. accidentally hit Murden, so we'll just drop sideways here. Well, actually, yeah, that dude's bottlenecking everything, so I can't get far enough ahead with him to Petrofog say, they're knights, which is something I'd really like to do. I'm not going to use uh, Meditate because I want him to get a turn faster. Yay! Start taking a pound of flesh with her, though. Go, Sestina. Sue. Don't die. Pretty cool that that was a crit. They've been doing all right for themselves on that, on that front. Ah, uh, Canopus can handle her. Well, I did predict Sestina would die in that situation anyway, so get Dave points for me and for all of you pessimists in the crowd. Mm, I'm going to put Paralysis displayed on right now in the hopes that someone tries attacking him. Oh. Well, joke's on me. Maybe this will just, uh, sow discord. 
let someone else drop that uh, dragoon. Also, great use of your turn, Swordmaster. Now, I don't want Sistina to stay down for very long, especially because I think she actually just got access to maybe her first finishing move. Um, I often don't know what to do with her tech points, so now that opportunity is coming up. It's going to take a little while for her to get into resurrection range anyway. Okay, two birds with one stone. Come on! Fine, she can probably jump this. Stay back. I should probably have her start using the items, to be honest. Alright, and we'll put Saria in a nice high-risk situation as well, so she can get dropped just like her sister before her. Her younger sister. Hmm. You engage Dana and Blues? Don't like the look of this one bit. She'll go over on MP by her next turn, so... Hmm. I think we might need to bring him back to help kill stuff. Oh, get used to that. We won't be reaching him, possibly ever. Also, just petrify this jerk, but I'd rather kill him. Okay, hopefully he keeps wanting to go after Bayon, but can't use like numbing hook or something terrible like that. Wow, she really wanted to have all of her hit points. Of course, every hit we make is a critical. Well, they had it coming. Okay, he's just going to Phalanx on his turn anyway, which is going to be super annoying, but there's not too much I can do about that. Brian! He's got a Claymore. The good news is he doesn't have a crossbow. Got all sorts of tech points. Just between the two of us, I did see them coming out of his wazoo. Well, this will let Denim breach the line, I guess. And all of the damage. Hopefully I won't heal the, pe heal the people. I want them not to. I think Bayon's oh well, if he gets some arrows rained down on him, we should be careful. I'm gonna see if... Um, Katya can take care of that, though. Because I'm going to need to heal Cannabis sooner. Oh, come on.
I think I gotta go for that kill, unfortunately. I would rather. Oh, come on. Well, I'm not allowed to. How about here? Hmm. I will take this guaranteed kill. Because we'll probably get the 40 tech points we need to open up with our other attack next turn. Hello! Well, geez, guys! Oh dear. Wait, when, when does Denim get his turn? Oh, not forever. Great! Well, they're, uh, playing all my units off of each other very nicely. Both healers are in a fair bit of trouble. Truly terribly positioned. I'm not sure who ordered them to go there, but that person, not so great at this game. Mm, it's kind of cool to have a healer who can use Meditate. It'd be even nicer if she could use Heal, too. No! He did not earn that. Flaming Blast. Hmm, but it won't put him to sleep. Canopus is protected in this extremely open area. And who's the best kill we can get? Probably you. Kind of a waste of his position, but... It's not really debatable who's in the most trouble. It's down by the healers. Kill. Okay. Yeah, as predicted. Well, we can ignore him for a bit at least. Going for Murden? No. It's a pretty good ability. Pretty darn good. I kind of regret not turning him to stone when I had the chance. Someone else can go after Sestina. A couple bad decisions on my part have led to the tragedy we're dealing with right now. Thirty-five, not great. I'll take this for the opportunity for a crit. Wait. Now when no Denim's turn's coming right up. Forget all that. So she's got Reflect Damage, that's no big deal. We've got HP Infusion on our Valkyrie, so that'll give her the staying power she'll probably need. We can Fantasize, but what we gotta do is save him for Denim. Uh, 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Thank you for your service, Murden. And he probably doesn't have the necessary field alchemy skills to uh, help revert him. That's okay, he's taken so much damage, we need him to pull back for a bit anyway. And hopefully not get killed with an arrow. Causes less of a blockade if we move him there. Okay, let's see how much we can do with, uh... He... Oh, he doesn't have enough. How does he have so few tech points? I mean, I know I used Rending Gale, which was, in retrospect, regrettable. It's alright, Fulker can finish him off, probably, now. Yay, enough for Beast Slayer. Save for tech points. And we'll see if we can get her into an area with a clear shot potential. You've got to be kidding me. Well. I have been more pleased about things in the past than I am at this current moment. Don't crit. Thank you. Thank you so much. One, two, three, four. I need you to do damage. Barely any damage, but some damage. You ever wanted to learn Rivali? Yay, Spirit Surge 3! And she didn't know it! So my plan was to turn Murden back to, uh, Squishy. It'll have to wait. Please block. Thank you. Ha, joke's on you, Octavia. That's what you get for having a Bond villain name. Let's hope for some crits or something. Yes! And hopefully this is too sharp of an angle to get arrowed. Wow. A ton of money represented right there. Let's keep smashing that till he gets even angrier. This is actually a really ideal setup. There's no one I would rather have get hit with a super attack right now. Because now she can counterattack with a super of her own, a finishing move, or she can use HP infusion. Healer, 
able to do a revive and soon. Boy, I hate those knights quite a bit. Okay, how much damage can she do if she goes for the finishing move? Just for curiosity's sake. I don't think I'm going to be able to bring enough offense to bear on him. Well, we could use Rending Gale again. Sure, it's worth a stab. See what I did there? Okay, and we need to get a step cleared for her, unfortunately. Where Elrig is standing. That's doable. Seems like as good a place as any. Targets weren't exactly primed for damage, but we got a little bit in anyway. I'll take it. Oh, that'd be delightful. Would anyone be able to get a kill in is the question. Denim's not going to be helping anyone, really. Maybe putting more pressure on Griffin. We could super kill. Some of the finer points of this weapon's range are mildly frustrating. Because now it's not going to be in range for other reasons? Yeah. This is tempting for other reasons. Maybe we can get a good finishing move from here. Is there something I'm not considering? Dang it. I didn't even check if other attacks would have done better damage. It's probably a mistake. I'll live with it. And against my better judgment, did not try finding a perfect shot to get the attack I actually wanted. Thank you for not critting. This is a non-critting area. Probably okay.
Nightingale. So bloody close. I'll take this one instead. That gives uh, two opportunities for her to stand on a square that gets us the revive we want. Speaking of Olivia and Operation Friend Help, which is the super cool nickname I've given it. Because everybody likes friends, and people like helping. Glad I could clear up that confusion. Awaken Murden. Not sure if that Petrofog I used really ever paid off. There we go. You stay away from that card. Oh wow, that's quite good. Nope, perfect. Dodge! That's okay. Thank you, Magic Ignoring Height. And go beat her up. Hold on a sec here. Change of plans. Shoot up the preacher. I did not know about that, and I am extremely alarmed. That's a really annoying skill, that damage reflection. cut off, so if I target somebody who is in range, it'll hit a different target. Let's hope for it. Nope. What a waste. She's got all her hit points anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think we're gonna get in healing range for him. Okay, at least we know where we need to get him. And Sestina is the new target. Because we can get her probably to a point where she can survive a single hit. Because uh, Jerk McDurk up there is probably. About to use his critical. Thank you for not dodging. Nice. And thanks. Still has Stunbringer because he was petrified. Halting the flow of time. Don't phalanx. Yeah, here we go. Boy, they can really prolong things. Well, at least we reset her death counter. Holy cow. And there goes her loyalty. Can I please stand there? Two tiles that would give me the perfect petrifog. Well, baby steps. Uh, 
Uh, I'd rather his turn pop a little quicker. Denim doesn't get killed, as I'll have to say. Oh good, Saria will get killed. And the Farina sisters are down. Except Olivia, she's doing fine. One, two, three, four, five? My goodness. Falker, you've done it! Save Canopus when he's loaded with a finishing move. Mm. Boy, if we could get Resurrect on Katia, it'd be super nice. I'm hoping we can wrap it up before we need to perform another resurrection, but we'll try keeping our real healer alive here. Because she's got enough to use Boon of Swiftness. Or Major Heal. Huh. No, we need offense. sooner rather than later. We have three finishing moves up there, or two, pardon me, and a hit from, uh... Sorry. And a hit from, uh, Aerosel, which is just as good. 134. 111. Uh, I'd like to see what Flaming Blast does, but... Can't argue with the math. Look at that shot. Your denim getting the kill. And then we're laughing. Hmm. Hold on a second here. Can their leader screw anything up before denim gets a chance to kill him is the question. We've also got that knight who's potentially causing trouble. to slow him a long time ago. Forty-three. We'd have to hit Denim too with it. I'm gonna go for it. Oh wait. Yeah, it's gonna pump up the strength of Denim's uh, tech ability. Two, three, four, five, six, dang it. Well, at least one of the healers is in the right place. Unfortunately, not the one I'm hoping for. I think Denim will be able to do the killing blow now. No matter what. Ooh. On a counterattack is even more impressive. Goodbye, noble swordsman. But seriously, screw that guy. Some no-name commander trying to protect his city from the noble invaders. Alright, before I forget... I mean, I guess it wasn't a huge problem in that one, but... Uh... 
Hey, and he's well into rank one. Just for one turn. And it frees up another uh, slot for him, which is super nice. Because we don't need him to also have hammers. Trajectory is also a lot less important with crossbows. Since uh, it's basically just following line of sight. Okay. Hit me with your best shot, Cannabis. What do you got? We could have given him air magic this whole time. That might be worth investigating. Improving his aim even more might be worth doing. Hmm, level 21, that's too bad. anatomy and he's pretty good at it we try having him do more damage to beast units as well that might add up to being worthwhile eh it'll give him a couple different looks Flight 2, and Constitution 2. Probably should have had that on a while ago. Does not know a single spell. Well, can't use any of the good ones. Black Willow is the one I would like the most. Yeah, figures. All right. With that, we'll do a starter experiment in the next episode. Uh, I'll see you at the Royal City of Heim, everybody.